How's it going, folks? I'm Matt, and this is Photosyntech. Welcome to another episode. This week, I want to talk to you about what I consider to be the most common tool in the grow room. That one that everybody has. Water. Let's get into it. Yeah, water's a tool. Of course it's a tool. I mean, we use it for many different things. Uh, washing your equipment, keeping humidity in the air, watering your plants, and occasionally watering yourself, staying hydrated. Important to do so. But the other thing that we can use it for, and this is a really real key part in the process, that's soaking your seeds. Now, some people might say, well, Matt, that's just bro science. You don't need to soak your seeds. And I say, ha ah, ha ha. Absolutely not bro science, this is real science, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. The science of soaking your seeds. And I'm not gonna say that five times fast because that's not gonna go so well. There's a couple of terms that I'd like you to be aware of. That's phytic acid to start with, phytate, and then phytase. Get into it here. Now, phytic acid is the stored form of phosphorus, which when bound to a mineral becomes a phytate. Now, phytic acid, it's a enzyme inhibitor. It actually stops your plant, well, your seed anyway, from sprouting. So you wanna get rid of these. And to, when you get rid of these, you end up with phytase, which as I understand it, and I'm not a chemist, so if I'm getting this wrong, please correct me in the comments below. You get phytase, which is the plant available form of phosphorus unlocked, unleashed. Your, your seed starts sprouting. And, and that's the important thing here, is you want to get rid of this phytic acid, and it's actually quite possible, there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but the most important one that you should do is soaking your seeds, because soaking your seeds actually removes some of this phytic acid from the seed and helps your, your seed begin to sprout. Now there's a couple other things that you can do as well. Um, to introduce a phytase enzyme, you can add a little lactobacillus in there, lab serum. Uh, I haven't really made any videos on this yet, but there's lots of them out there. Um, look out, look up how to make a lab serum. Um, Goblin has one, Green Goblin, or free it over his channel. Something else that you can put in there is gibberellic acid. Gibberellic acid is actually something that helps seeds sprout, and it's found very commonly in something that some of you probably have in your toolkit already, and that's kelp. So add a little bit of kelp into your water, let them soak for 24 hours, get rid of that phytic acid, turn it into a phytase, the plant available form of phosphorus, and you're off to the races. That's it guys, that's today's tip. That's all I really wanna talk about. Why you wanna soak your seeds? Well, it's actually proven science. I'm Matt and this is Photosyntech, we out.